in the humble hills of the avium savannah. You ain't a man until you settled up your first capybara. Howdy there, partner. My name's Woody Wild, and this is the Wild West. I've lived at the Locust Oasis my whole life, but now that our borders have opened, it's time for me to leave home and see the big white world. For the first time, Balamorians with a passport can enter Mistelin's borders, as well as a place called Port Serim that can take me over to Greater Corum by ship. Plus, I've heard of a land called the Wilds that nobody rules over, and that sounds just like home to me. I wonder if they have capybaras there too? I'm sure no harm will come in finding out. Hello again everyone, it has been a fair while since I recorded. I feel like I said that at the start of every one of these filming sessions, but I've been real busy the past few days, both editing the last two videos and also playing on my main account, and also I just finished writing a book that I've been working on for the past two years, an epic fantasy novel. So I've been pretty busy with that too. I've not played the account too much, but I did manage to get up to 50 fletching and 56 woodcutting whilst AFKing, and I also did a couple of Soul Wars games, not much, but enough to get four crates, which I'm going to open here now. That's a dead drop. These two are nice though. Room plate legs is nice. Alcables, more myth, all that as well. Some bolts. Ton of pure essence, Addy, and 200 deference is very nice. And some soul runes, diamonds, and rubies. Okay, not a bad haul at all. We'll just go ahead and alk that rune plate legs. And we're up to 133k and yeah i'm just gonna chill tonight do some lms i'm not doing like a big recording session getting on towards the end of my day but not quite there yet but i just fancied playing some lms games unfortunately the competitive world at the moment is australian so my ping is gonna be terrible uh, not much high chance of me winning them but yeah if i if i do i guess that's what you're gonna see Two hours later. Well, I've had some okay finishes, but overall not doing too great. We got 31 points. Just don't think I'm playing at my best right now, to be honest. So, probably gonna leave it there. Don't think there's anything I particularly need from the shop right now. So, I'll just keep hold of these. I'm trying to figure out whether to go over to the Deranged Archaeologist. Maybe just do like 5 or 10 before I finish up this recording. See how it feels. Because that's the other grind that we have to do. There's this grind to... Well, it's not really a grind. It's more of a feat <laughs> of actually being able to win a game. And then there's the grind, potentially, to get a fedora, which has a very small drop rate. One in 128. I am an absolute masochist. Um, these may have been the two hardest goals of the whole thing. But yeah, that's where we're at. Okay, this is what I'm going to go with. Fingers crossed, no nasty people, just nice, chill, killing the crazy archaeologist. Maybe even gives us a fedora, who knows. Oh, Niles, I don't think it's a great time. 240 GP, can go in the bag, I guess. Just gonna drink these energies up, and then we'll get on to the crazy arc. No! Maybe I'm not supposed to run back. Maybe I'm meant to like run at him. I'm sure I'll get it on like the third kill. Try running at him. Well, that kind of worked. No, I got hit that time. How am I supposed to know which direction to run, man? Must be a pattern to it. See, I could see that one was going over there, but it was a bit too late to move at that point. There he goes. 150 cannonballs. That is not much use to us. I don't think we can ever have cannonballs. I don't know what the achievement diary task one is. Or oh, maybe it's it's like a trip to get multiple in a trip, isn't it? Like kill all of the wilderness bosses. It's not what I'm gonna do anytime soon. As predicted, got it on the third go. Just some potatoes for the trouble. The kills are a bit slow, but pretty easy. They do take prayer though. I have been using this as well. What is it? 50 seconds or 137? But it's probably going to be slower without. I mean, I'm still hitting at the minute. If I don't start splashing loads, then I'll save my prayer. Because I've already used two full pots. 
This seems fine. Death runes are going down quick though. Mud runes. Thanks. He respawns quick, doesn't he? We got- Oh my gosh! That was so quick! Five KC! I am gobsmacked, folks. Absolutely gobsmacked. I was expecting to have to grind at that for a while. But we have achieved our very best in slot headgear forever. The best on the account. Oh my gosh. What a pivotal moment. Look at this motherfucker never coming off. I mean, not until we get set bonus effects like moons that require the same pieces, but apart from in those circumstances, we're always going to be wearing this beast from now on. Oh, it fits so well on Woody's head. It doesn't really go with the robes, though, I'm going to have to say. Oh, now we're talking. Look at that with the frog leather. It almost makes me want to go frog leather pants as well, just for the added drip. It kind of goes really well, right? Like, I look like some kind of mean bandit that doesn't give you a black cape, but gives you a gutix cape instead. Maybe I should wear the zabby cape just for added flair. Yeah, look at me. I'm a mean bandit. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, people. I really don't know what's wrong with me. I mean, there's a lot. It's a big list. Oh, I'm so happy we got the fedora. Well, that is going to be enough for me to consider this a success and call it a night on the recording. I did a shit ton of LMS games that I didn't get a win in, but then I got my big bad fedora. Hopefully I can get a win in an LMS game soon, and then we can move on to Greater Corrand, and I can reveal that I have in fact created a Greater Corrand task list as well. It felt wrong to have task lists for every other region other than the final one. So I've made a task list, and it is going to unlock something, but it's not going to be another region. I'll get into that when it comes up. Keep it a secret for now. Night night, sweet tie. Remember, the fedora is always right.
I won y'all. I don't know what the fuck happened there at the end. I just won my game. Sorry, I didn't have my mic set up and everything. I thought I was just chilling, listening to some music, playing. I thought I'd come onto the Aussie world because it was full of bots and the English world was difficult. And I think that was the second game I played on the Aussie world. I killed like four or five bots and then I had one real fight, but I was honestly cooking the guy. He wasn't very good. And then I, I won. That may have been a bit of an anticlimactic way to get it. I'm not going to lie. But I took the cheesy option and it paid off. We've got ourselves a tier one cape and nobody can deny it. I did have at least one actual fight, which made me feel a little better about, about the win rather than it just all being bots. But yeah, we're done, baby. We've got corn. How sick is that? That's the last half done in this region. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that to happen today, but I can go to Greater Corrand. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. We've got the fedora. We've got the cape. Does it even have stats on it? No, I didn't think it did, but it's still pretty damn swaggy. This is a good episode, and it's only just begun, really. I'm 17 minutes into my record, and that didn't take very long at all. Well, it turns out, kill enough bots, get enough loot, beat one guy. That's all you need to do. That's how you get an LMS win. Oh, I'm excited now. I guess I need to look at the car entirely. Because yes, folks, I did sort of mention this last night, but I have decided to do a Corrin diary. And it's nasty, as they all are. It's got some horrible tasks on it, I'm not gonna lie. What is this gonna unlock, I hear you ask? Well, we're not unlocking a new region. This is the final region. Wilderness, Corrin, Valamore, Mistelin, that's it. But it is unlocking all the bonuses that I've been contemplating and not yet made my mind up on. Those being, basically, the Mistlin auto pops from Leagues. So here we've got Dragon Slayer 1, Druidic Ritual we already did. We haven't done Elemental Workshop 1, but I'm going to be including that as well. Tears of Guthix I believe we can do anyway, so I'm not worried about that, but... If we need to cheat for it, we will be able to. Bone Voyage and the Dig Site, I'm actually leaving off. I'm not including these at all. But Fairy Tale 2, Fairy Tale 1, Lost City, Nature Spirit, Priest in Peril, I'm going to put on the list of things that I'm able to do. So Dragon Slayer 1, Elemental Workshop 1, and Fairy Tale 2 and 1. I, d I don't want to do Fossil Island because I just I feel like it would let me skip a lot of in more interesting grinds, like doing the Hunter's Guild because I could just do Birdhouses instead. And it's something that like every account does, and the whole point of this account is it's meant to be kind of different. So I don't want Fossil Island, but I do want Fairy Rings. And I also want to allow the use of a dragon dagger and a dragon longsword after completing Lost City. We're not going to have a dragon sim, we don't have monkey madness, and that's fine, that is what it is. But I do need at least some sort of decent spec weapon, especially if I'm going to be potentially trying to PK either bots or just real people. Whatever happens, you know. So... Allowing that Lost City for the Fairy Rings and also for the Dragon Dagger and Dragon Longsword unlocks is something I am going to do. But to get all of these things that I'm looking at right now, I first have to complete this task list. Uh, the Client of Corrand is the very easy one. That's the quick quest that basically gets us around the region. Kill a reanimated creature we should be able to do fairly easily as well. We've already got installed heads in the bank. Caress Memoirs. This is a long one. This is a grind. This basically requires me to complete five different quests after Client of Corrand, one for each of the regions within Grey Corrand. So I'm going to have to go and get five different quests done, add the pages to Memoirs, uh, and that's how we'll be able to get that one done. It'll just take a while. It's a bit of a grind. And then obtain a Xerix Talisman, probably from Lizardmen. I don't hate this because I'll 
probably want to farm some Zerishian fabric anyway, so I can make myself some better mage gear. Maybe we get one on the way. If we don't, maybe we, like, grind out the Shazian armor and kill some shamans or something. That'd be cool. I'm sure we'll find a way to get it eventually. But yeah, it's a nice thing for getting around, and it's just sort of like a... It makes sense to have it in the core and task list. And then finally, open the grubby chest. This one shouldn't be too difficult either, but who knows? You could go dry on a key for ages. I believe there's a pickpocketing requirement as well, but I think we are already meet it thanks to all the, the thieving we have done. So yeah, this is our core and cla 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 la 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 this is our Corrand diary, and this is basically what it's unlocking apart from Bone Voyage. I don't think there's anything else, but I will just double check. Box traps we've already got, or we will have, like it's on my list of things I'm allowing. Yep, yeah, doesn't look like there's anything else. It is, uh, it is just that list basically, Dragon Slayer and Fairy Tale being the main ones. So we can do those once we've done the core and diary, and that will be my next goal. Should we just go and I wouldn't plan to do like a four recording session. I thought I'll chill for a few hours, just record in case I win a game and probably not end up using most of the footage, but I won. But yeah, let's let's actually just go there. Let's get our ass to Corrand. Because I'm excited. Let's go. We have sailed to Great Corrand. And we have started the quest. Okay. I actually know where the first one is. Oh, we have to use the feather first, that's why. Excellent. It's not far away, and I remembered we had this medium clue as well. So I'm gonna get on that. North of the fishing shop, so not too far away. Figured I may as well complete this first step, pray that the second one. Alright. Now we will wander up towards the clue. It would be so cool just to finish a medium clue, but probably gonna give us something that we can't do. Oh no, we can do that! In Varrock. Okay, okay. Two steps. Two steps. Just gonna grab a couple more energy potions out of the bank. I don't have a great deal. I still need to do more farming and shit. But I don't have Haralander seeds. Yeah, <laughs> I'm out of Haralander seeds. <laughs> My most used seed. Uh, I've got two Haralanders. I'm not looking hot. Maybe I should get the Varrock Apothecary to make me some. That's a thing, right? Two Limpwort roots and a chocolate dust. I don't think I want to give my limpwort roots up. Oh, I do have 50 in limpwort seeds, though. That might be worth it. Two roots per potion. Might be the best way for me to get some extra energy potions right now, because I'm fucking always chugging through them. And we've barely got any marks of gross built up. Oh, no, wait, we can't even buy gross full. What am I talking about? Although, that's one thing I would consider adding to the cheat sheet, seeing as though it's purely a quality of life thing. Like, let me know what you think about that in the comments, if you think... That's fine. The cheat sheet being, you know, the things we unlock after we've completed the core and task list. Like, adding the ability to spend Marks of Grace to that. Just Marks of Grace, like, I wouldn't access the rest of the the Thieves' Den. I wouldn't do, like, the actual Rogue's Den itself, or use the, the Bank and Fire, or the Shop General Store there, you know. Oh, we can finally build what? Warfield Val Packs. And we can sell soul runes here and buy the blood runes and soul runes. That's nice. So yeah, it would literally just be Grace's shop for the, the Graceful and the Amelaise crystals. Unless there's another way made in future to get Amelaise crystals and then I legit wouldn't use it again after buying the Graceful. I think they may be adding a way to get Amelaise crystals to Valamore, but not through spending Max of Grace through another method. So yeah, let me know if you think I should be able to buy Graceful once I get the Core and Diary done too. I'm kind of feeling like I might err in that direction unless people don't like it. Because to me, like I say, it's just a quality of life thing, isn't it? I can't think of any situations where Graceful would actually give me like a benefit. It's not the same as like a... I don't know. It's not like I'm taking a Divine Rune Pouch or something like that, is it? I suppose it would save me resources in terms of energy potions. Let me know in the comments. Can we use the minecarts? I feel like they changed it, right? Did they not change it so that you could use them before completing whatever the quest was? Is that, that's surely going to be quicker. God, yeah, look at this shit. So many options. You should probably come and look at all like these shops at some point as well. I've no idea what's in them all. I'm pro probably nothing too useful, but you never know, right? Oh, there's a stepping stone here. That's handy. Probably the first person to ever use that shortcut, ironically. 
Woody's come so far, hasn't he? Look at this absolute champion. Okay, so I think we've got to go to Vios and then up here again somewhere. I really don't have energy potions, so I'm thinking I might just go and get some from the guy in Varrock. We'd need more chocolate dust as well. Do I have a way to quickly get back here? I guess I can games necklace and use the minecart from there. So if I take a ring of jewel and, and just... Oh, I don't even need to use it, I can teleport Telemus. I just want to get an energy reset. Well, right, why don't we just go see Roldy and Varrocke? Come on, give me something doable. Grimhaven, god damn it. Karamja is not in my regions. I did not take the Karamja that got given as a default in Trailblazer League because I liked being different and now I hate myself. I don't know why I said that so weird and I'm still going. Winter Todd, we can do Winter Todd now. Well, in like 35 fire making levels, but Lagwan Vios. Okay, activate. Switch spellbook? Switch back? <laughs> I don't know, just get the task. We have to go back to Vios now. Back to Winter Sword. I think this is it? Yeah. And there is Client of Corrand. We have done the first of our tasks on the Great Corrand Diary, and we even get some XP lamps. Herblos probably the player, right? Maybe Slayer's worth. Ooh, Slayer might be more worth it at this level. Speeding up that grind would be nice, because we're not desperate to get anything herbal or laid, but we do want to get that Slayer level up. I think that is the play. You have to consider as well, like, we're never going to have access to barrages, so we're not going to be able to get fast Slayer XP that way. We're not going to have access to the majority of high-level tasks that people get Slayer XP from, but we are going to need Slayer levels because we can unlock the majority of the upgrades that are available through that path. Maybe not the majority, but a decent enough amount that we still need to get there. Things like Abyssal Whip we can get, for example, at 85 Slayer. So, yeah, I don't hate that decision. Almost got us to uh, level 38 there. Pretty happy with that. And we've got the Caress Memoirs, but right now there's no pages in it. So we need to get some pages and put them inside by doing each of the five next quests and that will complete another task. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up on this recording for now. Like I said, I wasn't planning to actually sit here and record. I was just gonna turn the camera on while I did LMS, but there's a couple of other things I need to do, so I'm gonna get off for the day. Oh, well, I'll probably be back on there. Yeah, see you in the next recording. Hello again, everyone. It is a fair bit later on in the evening from the last recording. I figured I'd record some more tonight because I ain't got shit all else to do. So, here we are. Now, I am heading to a location that probably isn't used or known by many, because it isn't really a location that anyone would care about, except for me, because I'm a weirdo. I probably didn't need to bring all this food. I may regret that, but I can always drop it, because I've got quite a lot of lobsters. Apparently, I didn't path correctly there as well, so there goes my energy potions that I brought. Now this is in aid of the energy potions, what I'm doing right now. It is in aid of them. I am planning to kill some lizard men. Oh, I need an anti-poison, don't I? What a fucking idiot. Took me so long to get here. What is that? Is that a... Uh, it's the mountain guy. Okay, there's a minecart right here, so we can get back here quickly enough. I can't remember if you need anti-poison for these or not. But, essentially, because these things are always... Yeah, you do. Fuck's sake. Because these things are always fighting, all you have to do is get like one hit on them and then you're chilling. I'm going to need to leave and get anti-poison. I just kind of want to show an example of the drops coming through. Maybe I want prayer pots as well so I can stay in more AFK. But yeah, the soldiers just help you kill them way faster basically. And these guys drop Zerishan fabric which we can use to make improved mage robes. They drop fangs, they have a chance at dropping the Xerix talisman for one of our tasks. And they drop regular seeds, herb seeds, and, and other useful seeds. So, all reasons, good reasons to kill them. Oh, there's a limpwort seed. And yeah, I'm just going to chill here for a bit till I've got at least enough fabric for Xerishan robes. 
If I can wait out this poison and I don't get re-poisoned, because at the minute I haven't actually been taking hits, but kind of depends if the soldiers all die, like I might start having to tank. Uh, but if I can wait this out and I don't get re-poisoned, then I will have to leave. Oh no, I think I did just get re-poisoned. Thing is, I don't think I have super anti-poison yet, do I? Oh, uh, level 48, still a while away. Hey, we got a Haralander seed, that's good, that's energy potions. So I thought this would be good. We get the fabric, we get some seeds, we might be able to make more energy potions that way, or just, you know, generally develop our, our herb lore and farming more. And there's our first piece of fabric. I think we need like 12, I'll look it up. Yeah, 12 for a set. Although having dupes wouldn't be bad because it will be gear that I'll be taking into the wilderness. Though there's probably easier ways to get Zerishim fabric. In fact, isn't there stuff? Oh, I'm going to look up a stone chest. I've never done those before. 64th even, so we can. Oh, you can get a Xerix talisman from them. That's cool. Another fabric. A Snapgrass seed. Hey, another Haralander seed. I should have brought a needle and thread so I could just make the robes on the spot, but I'm dumb. There's 53 ranged. Okay, I'm going to bank because I've got a full invent. And I don't really want to drop anything. I'm just trying to figure out the best way for us to get to these patches. Because we can't move our house there until... I think it's 20, maybe 25 construction. Yeah, 25. So we're quite a bit away from that. Uh, how much do we get for daddy's home? Did we already do it? We did. <laughs> okay. That's like all I did then basically, isn't it? I swear I did some construction on this already. Maybe that was on one hour limit locked recently, but I did find out that it was actually incredibly easy. Maybe I should just go do the construction. Level 25. So I want to start getting these herbs down. I got a bunch of seeds there, so we now have three Haralander seeds and more Limplet seeds too. So I feel pretty comfortable to be able to go and plant those. I just want to be able to efficiently get to it, so I guess... 238 planks is what it would take. I think there's any other way to get early construction XP. I mean, we could buy bagged plants, but how well are they going to do, you know? Still going to take a lot in it. Take about 230,000 GP worth, so. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to go get planks. I need to find a spawn. Curse. Fuck pain for them. And there isn't actually a great deal of places for me to get these need to a bank. I think the best thing I can do is go to Ferox, which I'm already at. <laughs> go from Ferox, is what I should say. I'm gonna bank all my gear. Just taking a looting bag. We're not going too far. So there's like five spawns around here. I don't have all the run energy in the world. But maybe I just want to camp one of them, or two that are close together. Probably those first two, because these are all a bit of a trick. And it's annoying, because these zombies stop you from quick hopping. Where the hell ghostly John? I guess he's a rock. I don't feel like there's even any point in bringing this looting bag, you know, because by the time it's pretty much full, I could do with recharging my energy anyway. So I may as well just go and get an invent. Ooh, I have long bones. What level do you have to be to use those? 30? That's ages away. I've just realized how miserable construction is gonna be for us. We can't use the Remington house portal and unnote with files. We never get a butler, because they're in our day. How do we even trade? Posidius is the only house we can actually use. Actually. Rimington, Tavoli, Polnivnich, Relica, Brimhaven, Prif, all off bounds. Out, out bounds, so. This is. Posidius is the only place we can trade, and it's not particularly close to a bank, which is gonna make any construction training we do. Absolutely fucking suck. It's only just occurred to me now, but yeah, look at this. It's miles from a bank. You'd have to do that run so many times. Or I guess you'd teleport. I'd have to teleport in and then teleport to a bank, wouldn't I, basically? That'd be the procedure. Tell it to house, tell it to bank, tell it to house. There's a bank there as well, but it's probably a bit far of a run to be doing. So it's gonna be uh, expensive on the, the law rooms, I guess. Genuinely thinking it might be better to go Lumberyard. Then I have to run to Lumberyard. Man, there's no good options, is there? I'll have to tell you to dig site and then run to Sawmill. This all sucks. Ah, the Woodcutting Guild would be a good way to make planks, but we're still two levels shy. 
But that is for future. That'd be the easiest way to get to a sawmill. This feels real bad though. Gotta be a better way. 39 steel bars. Ooh, soft clay, we can make a fire pit. But that needs steel bars as well. Pump and drain is five steel bars. So that'd be like 300. Starting to think I fucked up with that lamp earlier. I should have construction from the 1000 XP lamps. Okay, folks, I've decided that in getting those planks is pretty miserable. So I'm gonna, I've got shit tons of coal, but I don't have much iron, but iron is the quicker to mine of coal on iron. So already having the coal means if we just have to get some iron, we can process it into steel bars. And I just discovered there is a guy who sells a rune pickaxe up here after some searching of the wiki. Glad I decided to look it up because I didn't think we had a rune pickaxe shop in our regions, but it turns out we do. Uh, we can get some iron right here as well, actually. There's a triple spot right there, so I'll probably use that one. I was going to go to the one down in Hosidius, but I'm not sure if there's any triple spots here. And I know there is there, I've just seen it. So yeah, I don't think we'll need that much steel. It's maybe like 300, so yeah, it's quite a lot. But, um, oh well. Where's this guy? I've got to be careful of the sulfur door. Thank you very much. I'll take that room pickaxe. Huge upgrade. So yeah, I'm just gonna go get a whole bunch of iron and make it into steel bars. God, this is nice. It's like one tick. Shouldn't take me too long at all. Be decent mining XP as well. We're into the bank will be the, shot, the longest part. This would be such good XP if we didn't have to bank it. If we could just stay here and drop it. This is pretty much one tick every time at this level with the rune pickaxe. We don't have a lot of great mining methods. On this account. We don't have mother load mine, so we don't really have a good AFK mine that is gonna have to be active. We don't have sandstone or granite. So for a long way, iron ore is probably our best bet, which is kinda sad, but I am gonna turn the camera off for a bit because this doesn't need to be on camera. I'll come back when I have materials and Okay folks, I have gathered 90 planks and 246 steel bars. Should be enough to get us to 25 construction. This is the process. We first have to teleport to a house and then we build chairs. And they actually changed this recently. It's the first time I've done it on the video since they changed it. So let me show you. You can swap your left click with menu entry swapper now to build on a space which you've never been able to do before. So you don't have to right click anymore. So all you have to do is click build and I guess we'll hold down one because it's easier. You have to pass less checks in a row and then we can swap the left click to remove. So we'll remove that, hold down one and then we just keep clicking. Yeah, the reason why I'm doing this is simply because the way that the checks on nails work is basically for every nail that the chair uses, you have to pass a check and if you fail it it checks again until you get it so if you only have two checks to do then that's only two subsequent checks in a row you need to pass whereas passing eight in a row or however many you've more chance of getting two successes in a row than you are of getting three in a row you know what i mean so you bend less on average see i've bent 19 and used 17 or 22 18 now so far pretty much one for one because we're not just sinking them into endless checks. And then it is going to be a teleport to Varrock. We can't use the Grand Exchange one yet, can we? No. So yeah, Varrock's really the only good teleport I have. I could go Dueling Ring with Ferox, but I think a Law Rune's easier to get for me at this point than Dueling Rings necessarily. Maybe not cheaper, but easier. And back we go. See you guys at 25. After this, I'll just be doing sinks in the kitchen, but I figured I'd do the chairs first, use a bottle of planks. And then see how much steel I need. Okay, that's the last of the planks. On to sinks. These should actually be quicker as well because we're not using nails for them. Just auto does it without chance of failure. So, bing, bang, bing, bang, bing, bang, bing, bang. Bing. Boom. Just gotta do that a few more times. If you have never played an Iron Man, this is what it's like, y'all. Takes you three hours to gather, and three hours is exaggerating. It took me like an hour, maybe an hour and a half to gather these materials, but. And then camera's been on for 12 minutes and we're almost done. You spend a long time preparing yourself for a very short burst of skilling. 
And that's pretty much what iron mode is. Did I say iron mode? Iron man mode. Construction and herb law are prime examples where that is the case. Think how much money I could be making out of these steel bars. We could go into plate bodies that are like 1200 each on the out. Instead it's disappearing down the drain of the sink that I keep demolishing. Gonna go ferox on this one and reset my energy. And this the last one. Barely took any time at all. 25 construction. Now we can actually walk in our own front door for the first time. Well, not quite yet, but almost. Rather than having to teleport is the only available option. I'm just gonna need to get some cash. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my farming equipment and my Harolander seed, my Limpwort seeds. Yeah, I can't really be asked to grow vegetables. The only place I still don't have a good teleport to is Drano. I'm sure we'll get the Explorer's Ring eventually. Right, we want to relocate our house to Hosidius for 8,000 coins. See, the cash stack has gone down a bit. I bought a bunch of elemental runes as well as nails, so yeah. And now, when we teleport to our house, we can exit it without breaking our zones. Or we can go straight to this lovely little herb patch here. Don't have a great deal of super compost. Probably should make some more of that. Uh, we do have another charter ship now. I don't think it's very close to a bank though. Is that even a charter ship? Pretty sure there's a charter ship here. But yeah, it's not really close to a bank, so I'll be better off where we were before. Which is just Fortis, I think. Uh, yeah, I've got exactly 15 spaces and I should just go and get some pineapples on my way to this patch. Oh, it looks like we have some Harolanda planted, actually. That is nice. And Renara at the other patch. Then we are going to go free reset with the minigame teleport. Then home telly to Lumbridge and run over to Drano from there. I suppose I could go Skull Scepter. I don't know if that's quicker. Skull Scepter. Yeah, that's quicker in it. Skull Scepter than Lumbridge. That's a much shorter run than that. I have pineapples as well. So let's grab 15 of them. Gonna go back to Fortis. Using a lot of law runes at the minute. We need some chocolate bars. Plenty of them. Alright, finally, we're going to Varrock, to the Apothecary. Because limp work roots are far easier to get for Har than Harolanders right now. I have so many more seeds for them. Set this to buy all. Bang in. This isn't a long-term solution, really. It's more just because I'm struggling for Harolanders right now. But we do have those three planted, so by the time those grow, we'll be sitting a bit more comfortably. I don't think we can get super anti-poison anywhere, can we? Oh, temple spiders. That's interesting. Not going to be something I farm here, but it's interesting to know. Popping over to the decanter while I was in the area. Why don't we make our zerations? The bits that we can. Let's have a top. Let's have a bomb. Can't get the hat yet, but there we go. We got some green rubs. We are cabbage man. We have the Guffix to go with it as well. I guess we don't actually need the hat, do we? Because we've got Fedora. So it's pointless making the hat. Those are the only pieces we needed. I think that's probably about all we want, to be honest. To head back over to the Lizards. 60 hit points there. I'm not going to hang around here for too long. I'm just sort of chilling to see if I get any more herb seeds. It's basically what I'm hoping for and... Yeah, the off chance that we get a Xerix Talisman, because there are too many different ways to get them. Lizard men are one of the, the more common. It is just literally lizard men in stone chests, so. And these have the exact same chance as the lizard men shaman do. Although it increases after completing the easy diary. Maybe I should try and get the easy diary done. I mean, we have all the requirements. I should just go do this, right? I don't see any reason not to. I think it's one of the only achievement diaries that doesn't actually require us to go out of our region. Okay, I think I should go do this and then come back. So I'm gonna. Is there anything nearby I can do? Have I already got that one? The house one? Enter from Osidius. Okay. Okay, there's a minecart there. No way, I need a limp work route. I used them all. Oh. So I'm gonna start our Winter Todd. Cart to the guild. Fish a trout. 
Okay, and now I need to go to Love King. I'm gonna reset my energy first. I need to make another games necklace, actually. Thankfully, I have loads of random jewelry whenever I need some, thanks to all the house robberies. So I don't have to like go and make it. I usually just have one spare. Right, and then we're gonna go outside our house. We're gonna enter our house for the house one. Get the limp work roots. It's not ready for another 10 minutes, but I need a limp work route. Hop over here. Take that up. Okay, where's the nearest car? Oh, I should go do the crab first while I'm here. And the fruit, really. There's a car there. Oh, I should have done the fruit first. Crab down. I could have done, like, all of this while I was doing the quest earlier. Steal from the fruit stall. Drain some prayer there. So I can restart it. Excellent. Prey current castle. There's the strength port. I think we're actually right next to, yeah, the library, so we may as well. Oh, that was actually really easy to find. Just grabbing this one too, in case the person asks for it next. May as well see if we can get a free hand in. Nope. And yeah, five rink after an XP doesn't seem worth it. <laughs> okay, it's the Warren store. I think this lamp's probably going to have to go on Slayer. It's almost a full level. Just the agility cost left to do. I don't know if there's a cart here anywhere. Can't see one over there. But a nice thing that we have in this region now that we didn't previously is the ability to make a bow. We had no access to bow strings or flax, but now we do in this spot right here. So we can make as many bow strings as we like now, which is nice. There's a bunch of other stuff around here as well. I can't remember exactly which crates it's in, but there's... Hunter tools, which we will be using to start our hunter's journey, so I may as well grab them now while I'm here, if I can find them. There we go, box traps. Oh, we'd have to drop trigger them. Don't think we can actually use the box traps yet anyway. Is that it? Oh, I'm sure there was something, some more hunter stuff. A bird snare? Because we don't have the Yanil Hunter's store, so... I think we actually have the level to do the advanced course. Oh, we may need a crossbow for it. I can't remember, I've barely ever done this course. I think this one's the advanced one. This one's the easy one, if I remember right. I think I've done this like twice for diaries on different accounts. No, you need a grapple, okay. Nice. Is that a castle there? We're like right by it. We might as well just run rather than use a law rune. Two law runes even. Definitely a right decision. I think this is our first achievement diary, right? Yeah, it's the only one that's green. Very nice. Get an extra one them just in case I ever lose it. Don't see that there's much point though. Does have a core and woodland teleport, which is cool. Now it is either Herblore or Slayer. I think Slayer's more important. Whack, look at that. Went up so much. Okay, so now the chance of a Xerix talisman dropping from a lizard man is one in 125. So this is actually like the best way for me to get them as well. I think I should definitely go back to the lizard men and stay there until I get the talisman and just build up whatever herb seeds I can and spare sets of Xerishan's robes. Oh, why don't we though? Go do a farm run. Farm run's ready. Only got one Harolander seed. Start the Hosidious one because this is the one that we hadn't filled up with pineapples. We have a much better way to get snake grass now as well than telegrabbing it because there's a shit ton of spawns right up here on this peninsula. So we can just run to and from this bank whenever we need snake grass. Prep potions. Suddenly a lot easier to get on this account. Got a bunch of Renars just sat in the bank waiting. Don't have an excess of Renar seeds, but enough to last. We don't use prayer potions that much at the minute because most of our PVM is in the wilderness. Just got a herb law level cleaning those. 40. Almost a thousand total now. Can we get some Fs in chat for that limp work? Ooh. I don't know what I'm saying, because it's not like I can even fucking use it for a million years, but... Snapdragon Seed is actually a valuable seed on main game. And there's a valuable level, 54 ranged. Way better than 53 ranged. At least one level better. There's kind of a part of me that wants to see if I can do the full diary in one day. Because I reckon I can. And it'd just be a beast. Move to announce it and then complete it in the same episode. Like, surprise, bitches. Here's my bonus diary, and it's done. Pow, pow But that does require me to do five annoying quests. So it also re would require me to get a Xerix talisman very soon, because we'd still have to get a grubby key on top of that as well. If anyone can stay up way too late tonight to get it done, it, it is me. But will Iron Jesus come through? Or will it only be RNGs? 
either I'm on fire right now or this is all getting cut by editing me. I didn't bring the needle and thread. Oops. Oh, we got the Xerix! Very nice. All oh, right, there was the last inventory space I had. I was about to be like, damn, we're gonna have to leave. We can get it charged up. We got some charges on it now. Very, very cool. Buzzing, buzzing. We got the Xerix. That's another one down. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. The herb farm's not looking too hot. What next? I guess we can go do the insold head. Perfect, had exactly enough fabric for three complete sets of rope top and bottoms. So that is in there now, absolutely beautiful. Didn't get any more Haralanda seeds, unfortunately. Okay, insold. Gosh, we've got loads of them. Gonna have to look up the cost of the spells on runes. Right, these ones are all the lowest level tier. We can't do dragons till 90 magic, that's ages away. Giant heads we can do whenever, but I'm just gonna go with these for now. So we need body and nature and a way to get to Arceus. I am everywhere for just taking an invent, taking some uh, soul runes as well. Do a few of the giant heads, as well make it an efficient invent, you know what I mean? We'll grab a game's necklace. Ooh, we got a mysterious old man. Oh, there's a kebab. I mean, that is another task done. We just killed the unicorn. I'm going to obviously do the rest of these. But yeah, that's an insult head. <laughs> another task down. We need a grubby key and we need to finish Karad's memoirs. That is it. And then I can get Dragon Slayer. I can get Fairy Rings. I can maybe get Graceful. Let me know in the comments. I don't feel like I filmed that much footage, but I've definitely got enough material for an episode. Especially if we get all that done too, because I've done fucking tons. So many tasks. Not bad prayer XP either, to be honest. It's one of those things that, like, on my main, I can never be asked to come here and do it, but I still always keep the heads anyway, because I know I should. Yeah. 46 prayer. Well, I've just run out of body runes to kill shy of a prayer level. Isn't that a shame? Because who buys body runes? <laughs> but this is costing nature runes as well, and I'm fine. I didn't actually care about getting this done right now. I just wanted the task. So yeah, we are done with that there. It is going to be time to see if we can farm a grubby key. Okay, I'm just realizing I left myself on the RK spell book, so I'm gonna have to go reset that real quick. And then I'm gonna head over to the Forthos dungeon. I figured the best way to get these probably is by killing baby red dragons. They have a 1 in 80 drop rate. We could get a 1 in 50 drop rate from big red dragons, but they have 140 HP instead of 50 HP. So technically we can kill like almost three babies in the time it takes to kill one big. So 1 in 80 versus 150, it doesn't seem worth to kill the bigs. But the only downside is we wouldn't get any red dragon hide from killing the little ones, but that's not too major. Um, if we're banking bones anyway, if it takes a few trips, then yeah. Good access to red spider's eggs now. The only thing we had before was the uh, Varrock two spawns in the sewers. Oh my gosh, I forgot a slash weapon. We can't use a... I thought we could use... No, I knew we couldn't use the staff. I'm just being dumb. Good question though is can we make blue dehyde yet? I think we're fucking miles off. Okay. Need a lot more crafting for that. Because we do have access to a tanner now in Thorfors dungeon that we didn't previously. So yeah, unlike black dragons, the red dragons have the same magic level as uh, lava dragons and less magic defense. So they should be easier to kill than lava dragons, which is good. And they've got the weakness to water still. We should be pretty okay with strike, to be honest, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and use blast. At least till we run out. Now, another option for the grubby key is these undead druids here because there's an altar right there, so you can refresh your prayer as much as you like. I just figured this with the elemental weakness would probably be a quicker grind for us just to get the one key rather than extended farming of them. Okay, so I'm pretty sure there's a safe spot down in this corner. Nope, that one was getting me there. Can he get me? Yeah, he can. Where's the safe spot? Maybe the babies are just... Like, you can just tank them. Can I shoot him over the egg? No, oh, the big one's getting involved. Should have probably bought food. 
I don't really want to tank the babies either, but I don't want to pray. This guy seems pretty safe over there, but I don't know if he can see the babies over there. I'm thinking if this baby doesn't see me, then I might just be able to kill this. And I know I said the babies would be better, but if I can safe spot this more easily, then it's not looking that bad really, is it? All right, I'm going to go chill in this guy's spot. Isn't there some altar here as well? Sacred bone burner. Hey, we got a grubby key! What the fuck? Holy shit, all so quick. Oh. I'm kind of pogging off tonight. Okay, I'll drop the cake. Open anyway. Let's go! We've got our first Saradomin bruise on the account. We've got a super attack and a suit. We got a super set there, right there. We've got a restore as well. Look at this. This is actual toad flux too. These are actually nice things to have. Oh, I'm buzzing. And another task cross off the list, y'all. We literally have one task left. Granted, it's a fucking long one, but it's not difficult. It's just going to take some time. So I'm going to have a spliff and then crack out these quests. Fuck it. We're doing the Corrin diary tonight, baby. This is a one day diary. Look at all those potions that I'll never see because they're not tagged yet. And I'll probably forget to tag them. But they're there if I ever randomly feel like I need them. By the way, if anyone's curious, 4kc there on the red dragons. 4kc. 6kc on babies as well, but you know, it's not bad, is it? And that's the depths of despair. 4k cash, a little bit of agility at XP, and a page for us to add to the memoirs, which I've just now realised are not in my inventory. We'll slap that in there. Very nice indeed. We can even hold this book so we look like a proper mage. I had no idea you could do this. Holy shit. You can just take these banners. I assume they're all the same. Yeah. Down with the council. I'm with it. Fuck the government. These have a high alt value of 300 GP. That's straight profit. That's like better than rune arrows of 240. These are 300 GP. You can just pick them up. I guess... There's not a close bank, but you could just alk them here. Uh, seems good. Maybe that only exists before you've done, like after you've done the main quest, it might disappear. Always discover some weird shit on one hour limit lock. Wait, this isn't one hour limit locked. This is the Wild West. That's what I said, the Wild West. Nobody heard any different. Also random one while I'm walking by, but I have to shout out my favorite place in Gillenor because this place doesn't need to exist, but it does. And it's got a character from my favorite book series right here. And he tells you stories and he's a gleeman who wears a patch covered cloak and it's, it's, yeah. It's just perfect. And then there's these other characters as well. I don't know particularly who they are. I think this guy's from Name of the Wind or something. I can't remember. And then, I, I don't know about this one, but they're all from different fantasy books. I love this thing. That, this little inclusion. Whoever made that, good job. I randomly encountered it one day and it's like legit my favourite series. I've got fucking 14 books on the shelf behind me from that series. Oh, these things are heavy though. They weigh me down. I need to alchemist up. You cannot use alchemy on that item. What the hell? Why give it a high alk value? This is my protest. Remove the dumb item from the game. What a waste of fucking time. Let me delete my DM to super about an unusual moneymaker. Queen of Thieves down. Oh, we don't have the hunter level for this. We need three levels. How can we get them? Bang. One of the lovely things about Soul Wars Isle is there are a lot of random things here that we might just happen to need. One of which is a way to get our hunter started. If I can find my way around the Isle of Souls, that is. I was saying earlier, like, we never get barrages, so we can't do Slayer tasks that way. We do get chins, but I've never particularly been a big fan of catching chins. Um, shit at tick manipulation, so that's, like, not really an option. And it's very slow. However, once we get up to black chins, I am more than happy to farm chin bots. More than happy. Oh, there's a couple long tails down here as well. They would have probably been easier to get to. I was thinking of staying here till 15 because it was a bit of a trek to get here. But I can get to those whenever I want, basically. I'll just go till 12. 
He's only gone and got 12 Hunter. And there is Ascent of Arceus. Actually gives us a few more Hunter levels to get us up to Ruby Harvests. We can catch now, which is nice. And also up to five Runecrafts. So we skipped the very first little bit of Runecraft run in there. Up to Water Runes and Mind Runes, which is good because we can't craft Air Runes. So I suppose we could through the Abyss, but yeah, that's uh, that's nice. And we're also above 1,000 total level. Hell yeah, that took us over. Let's go. I think I'm actually going to leave here for the night. I've got two left, Forsaken Tower and Garden of Death. I can't remember how long they are. I don't think Garden of Death's too bad. Oh, that's got like... That's, that's got too many parts. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed and finish this off tomorrow. Made some sick progress today, though, honestly. Like, this is the same day still for me that I got my LMS win. It's been a long day, but it's been a really productive one. I can't wait to get back to it tomorrow. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad at all. I should have done that last night. I could have got that done. I've been logged in for half an hour, but I've only actually been doing this for like five minutes because I was just AFK while I was waking up and having a spliff. And there we are, the Forsaken Tower. Minecarts are now free, which is nice. It means we don't need to bring random 20 GP with us every time we want to use one. So it's a little bit of quality of life thing. And we move on to the Garden of Death. And we'll make use of that minecart reduction right now. There's somebody I need to talk to here. This guy, I need to talk to this guy. Cool, I can use him now that I've spoken to him. Am I on the wrong level? Plus it's confusing as shit. Can the mountain guy take me there? Nice. And there is the garden of death done. Where's my caress page? What the fuck? Did I do the wrong quest? Is this nothing to do with? <laughs> <laughs> oh, apparently the only one that we didn't need to do in Corrind is that one. I thought because they were all called the something, you know, like the Queen of Thieves, the Depths of Despair. I thought the Garden of Death was one of them. But apparently the last one is Tale of the Righteous, which is, it feels bad manners. It feels very bad manners. I guess we're going to do another quest. 10k farming XP though did take us up to 40, which is quite nice indeed. I think we're on like 36. So that's a nice boost. Well, an awful lot of energy potion doses, games necklace charges, and jewel and ring charges later. We are finally about to wrap up our caress memoir and complete our Greater Corn Diary just one day after announcing it. Let's go. I need you to stop talking to me right now. That's what I need. Slink Quiz is looking dodgy recently. I don't know what's up with him. Here we have it, folks. The very last page of our caress memoirs. It is completely full with a hundred memories. We've got all five of our teleports accessible through it now. Very nice indeed. Pretty hype. Pretty hype. We've got the Corrin Diary done. That means I can do Dragon Slayer. Fairy Tale, Lost City, Nature Spirit, Eagle's Peak is in here too, though I need some more levels for that. Very nice. I think I'm going to start working on these quests today, but I'll probably do it off camera because these are like the auto pop quests, the ones that I'm not supposed to do, but we get them because of League's raw sets. So I don't really want to do them on cam because they take me out of my zones. I'll probably just show the, the quest completes for each of these and that might well wrap up this video because I think there's quite a lot at this point. That was Enter the Abyss. It didn't actually show up, but... We have access to the Abyss now. It's a mini quest, that's why. It is done. Just did a bit of cleaning finds at the museum to get the dig site pendant enchantment so I could go over and do Priest in Peril more easily. Figured I'd check in with the chick here to see if she had any XP for me, and guess what? She does. Prayer Mining Crafting, Smithing Slayer, and Hunter. Let's see how much these all go. We're on 46 prayer. 50 mining, 44 crafting, 42 smithing, 38 slayer, and 16 hunter. This could be real nice. 1000 mining XP. Didn't get me a level there. Wait, did she not give me the rest? She just told me she was going to give me like six different skills and then only... Ah, fuck! Okay, so you only get the mining XP unless you have over 100 kudos. Sorry, 101. 
151 to get the crafting hunter prayer slayer and smithing oh, damn i don't think we can get that much kudos because i'm not allowing fossil island and there's a little more kudos and there is dragon slayer one done we can now equip rune and dragon blade bodies and green dehyde uh, i can't actually afford this but i can afford this and i'm gonna buy it because it is an upgrade on the ranged behalf. And yeah, we'll get a room plate body eventually. Probably, like, I think we've already had them in Soul Wars crates. We just alked it. But yeah, we've had one in a Soul Wars crate already. We can get them from Revenants as well. So we can get uh, a room plate whenever. It's not really of immediate need. But it's nice that we can wear it now. And this green dehyde as well for a nice little plus five ranged boost there. Some slightly worse magic defense but better stamina crush and there's priest in peril there's nature spirit down another defense level there up to 45 and that's the lost city done all right folks i was just in the middle of fairy tale and i was crying about how many energy potions i had to use and i thought fuck it i'm pulling the trigger because there's one thing that's made me think that this is more of an okay decision. Because you couldn't do it in leagues. You couldn't get graceful if you were in Asgarnia. True. But after watching the summit and the reminder that leagues have unlimited run energy. It seemed silly to me to limit my run energy needlessly. When I can get graceful pieces. And that will help significantly. Therefore, simulating the infinite run of leaks. So yeah, I've decided this is okay. If people disagree, let me know. Maybe I'll drop it if people hate it. You know, I'll get rid. But I, I think this is fine. And it should be quite nice for, for me just as a quality of life thing. So Plus, we also look kind of fly. Although I guess we can never wear the hood, huh? Hmm. Maybe I'll just have to fashion skip the fedora at all times. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go finish this quest now. That's fairy tale part one. And now that we have unlocked fairy rings, this will be fairy tale part to be continued. And a few hundred butterflies later, we are finally at the prerequisite requirements to do Eagle's Peak. There we are. Eagle's Peak finally finished. Really is, yeah, Zoinkwiz's model is fucked. I'm going to turn that off. Anyway, that's Eagle's Peak done. We can use box traps now. We can get out of this horrible region that we don't have access to. And we no longer need to leave our regions to unlock anything. The only reason we may have to go out of region again is for achievement diaries within our regions that have requirements outside. E.g. the Lumbridge Diary has some stuff that you have to do in Alcarid. Here's what it is, but I'm going to do it because it's the Lumbridge Diary. So achievement diaries, if we have combat task tiers, we can go and claim those from Gommel, but we're not going into the Warriors Guild, just talking to Gommel for the combat task rewards and graceful pieces from Thieves' Den as well. But again, not using the Thieves' Den, just using grace's shop so we can try and simulate that infinite run energy but yeah everything else from this point on achievement diaries and a couple minor things in birth op uh, will be done within our regions so that is fantastic got all of the other ones done fairy rings dragon slayer enter the abyss eagle's peak now so from here on out the journey continues in the the boundaries that we desire which is fantastic i'm feeling great about that but i can drop this metal forever i'll never need that and i don't need this either i'm gonna keep the cape though because it's kind of dripping it matches the hat nicely good aesthetic so yeah wondering around drip for now although it is a bit clippy in it anyway that's going to be it for this episode going forward the main focus is probably going to be cam to rum we still need to get... I think it's just Slayer. Should we just check? Oh, runecrafting as well. We need nine runecrafting levels. Shouldn't be too difficult. And another ten Slayer levels. Nine and a bit, because we've almost done this one. And I've got that annoying rogues task still to do. I'll probably do that off cam, because it will be interesting. So yeah, this will probably be the main focus going forward, just to unlock the city. Because this has one of the best, like, magic shops for us. It just has Lauren's 
chaos, death, nature, like everything that we need, and it's not difficult to get to. So unlocking this city will be really nice. Water vial packs as well. Some other things. So yeah, that's probably my next focus going forward. And after that, it's just all about growing and progressing the account and seeing what content we can do, getting our stats up as high as we can, hopefully completing some collection logs. I think that's like, we'll go through phases of like, one of the ones that I will do once I'm of a comfortable level is Perilous Moons, obviously. Like, I want to green log it. I want to get all the collections done. And then I'll know that I've completed that section of Valamore. There's new stuff coming out in Valamore as well in, like, two weeks. So we're going to have plenty to explore with that too soon. So that's exciting, including a new herb lore activity. Could be real nice for training. And then, yeah, just, just see, see what we can green log, see what we can get done and get achieved. 10 days and 15 hours played so far. We've unlocked all our regions and bonuses. It's time to actually dive in and start experiencing the Wild West. I'm looking forward to it. If you enjoyed this episode of the Wild West, please do make sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton, just promotes me into the world so more people can find the content that you're enjoying and we can grow this channel even further. And subscribe too if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the future content. I have a huge back catalogue by now and I'm only adding to it more as we go, so stick around to see all of that by hitting the subscribe button. Look after yourselves, be lovely to each other. I'll see you on the next one.